Hello students, uh, so let us start with our lecture on biology. Uh, I am your tutor Shubha ma'am and in the previous lectures we had studied about uh, the history of cell, the size, shape and function of cell and a prokaryotic cell. So to in today's lecture we will be starting about, we will be starting studying about the eukaryotic cell. Okay students, so now uh, as I have already told you what is a eukaryotic cell? A eukaryotic cell is a cell with well defined nucleus having the genetic material and the cell organelles. Okay, so I will be showing you the picture. So this is a diagram of a eukaryotic cell, it has a well defined nuclear, uh, nuclear membrane, this uh, light blue color is the nuclear membrane and this is the nucleus which has the genetic information. So we will be st uh, studying in detail about each and every part of a eukaryotic cell starting from outside to inside. So first of all we will be starting with the outermost part of the cell that is the cell wall. Okay, students, so now who discovered the cell wall? We have studied that while Robert Hooke was discovering the cell, the structure which he actually saw was what a, was what? It was a cell wall. So Robert Hooke in 1665 was credited for the discovery of cell wall. Now cell wall, in which organisms do you find cell wall? So cell wall is the outermost covering and it is found in case of, you can see cell wall in case of plant cells. You can see cell wall in case of fungi and you can see cell wall in case of alga. So cell wall is present in plant cells, fungi and alga. Clear? Now we will be studying about the composition of cell wall in these three organisms that what the cell wall is made up of uh, in plants, what the cell wall is made up of in fungi and of what the cell wall is made up of in alga. So cell wall is a dead part of the cell. We even call it as the extracellular matrix because it is the dead part of the cell and it is secreted by the cell itself and it is made up of, in case of fungi, the cell wall is made up of chitin. Chitin ko hum aur kya kehte hai? It is called as a fungal cellulose and uh, kis se bana hota hai chitin? It is, a, it is made up of an acetyl glucose amine. Now this chitin which is present in the cell wall of fungi, it is even found in the exoskeleton of the insects. Clear? So fungal cell wall, aapko yaad rakhna, it is made up of chitin which is also called as fungal cellulose and it is made up of this N-acetyl glucose amine. We have studied this N-acetyl glucose amine in the cell wall of bacteria also. We have that the prokaryotic cells are made cell wall hoti hai, it is made up of peptidoglycan. And peptidoglycan is made up of chains of N acetyl glucosamine which are cross linked by the short peptide chain. So, this N acetyl glucosamine is present in the cell wall of fungi and it is even present in the cell wall of bacteria. So, fungal cell wall is made up of chitin or fungal cellulose. Now in case of alga, the cell wall is made up of what? It is made up of cellulose because it is a plant cell. Alga is a plant cell, so you have cellulosic cell wall here. So it is made up of cellulose. Along with cellulose, it has galactins, it has manins and it has minerals. It additionally has minerals like calcium carbonate. So in case of alga, cell wall is made It is made up of cellulose galactins, manins and minerals like calcium carbonate. Okay, so this uh, this is given in your NCRT, you are supposed to remember it. This is from your NCRT book, clear? So you are supposed to remember this that the cell wall in case of alga is made up of cellulose, galactins, manins and minerals like calcium carbonate. Now what about the plant cell wall? In plants, the cell wall is made up of cellulose hemicellulose, pectin, glycoprotein and there might be additional deposition like lignin, suberin, xylan and it can be more like you can even find silica. Silica is present in the cell wall of grasses, silica, cutin, cutin is found in the epidermal cells of leaf, tannins, resins. etc. So, 
plants in plants the cell wall is made up of cellulose hemicellulose pectin glycoprotein and additional depositions like lignin suberin xylan etc now in plants cell wall kaise bani hoti hai now see these cellulose in the plant cell wall are present in the form of cellulosic microfibrils so there are uh, smaller units of cellulose which are called as cellulosic microfibrils and i'm just uh, drawing this to explain it to you so cellulosic microfibrils are present in the form of these layers like this clear so you have this cellulosic microfibrils here in between these cellulosic microfibrils the space here so these are what these are cellulosic micro fibrils in between these cellulosic micro fibrils you have hemicellulose here cellulosic micro fibrils are forming the framework of the cell wall hemicellulose this hemicellulose is present in between the cellulosic microfibril it is acting as a filler or matrix these cellulosic microfibrils and hemicellulose they are binded with each other inko add karne ka ya inko glue karne ka jo kaam karta hai that is done by pectin so pectin is acting as binding material so you have the framework of cellulosic microfibrils okay the filler substance in between the cellulosic microfibril is hemicellulose and the pectin is binding the cellulose with the hemi uh, with the hemicellulose okay acha ab ye cellulosic microfibrils apne aap ko isme kaise orient karenge ya kaise arrange karenge wo kaun function karta hai it is done by the glycoproteins so in plant cell wall the cellulose is in the form of microfibrils forms the structural framework so cellulose what it is doing it is forming the structural framework of the cell wall hemicellulose act uh, as a filler substance so it is acting as a filler substance whereas pectin binds the cellulosic microfibrils with the hemicellulose so pectin dono ko bind karne ka kaam kar raha hai okay now glycoproteins these glycoproteins help in the orientation of cellulosic microfibrils what do you mean by orientation of cellulosic microfibrils that how the cellulosic microfibrils will be arranged clear so pl in plant cell wall you are supposed to remember that the cell wall is made up of cellulose hemicellulose pectin glycoproteins and water clear to all of you now what is a cell wall it is a non living extracellular matrix extracellular matrix means the matrix outside the cell and who secretes this matrix the cell will secrete this matrix because it is the dead part of the cell closely attached to the cell however it is metabolically active because it is dead theek hai it doesn't mean that it is not metabolically active it is metabolically active and it is capable of growth clear to you so the cell wall can grow so it can be of multiple layers kaise hoti hai growth ya kitne layers hote hain cell wall ka that we will be studying now okay so so eukaryotic cell you are supposed to remember who discovered the cell wall it was discovered by robert hook you can find cell wall in case of plant cells fungi and alga in fungi the cell wall is made up of fungal cellulose uh, which is made up of n acetyl glucosamine in alga the cell wall is made up of cellulose galactans mannans and minerals like calcium carbonate in plant the cell wall is made up of cellulose hemicellulose pectin glycoproteins and additional depositions like lignin suberin xylan silica cutein tannin resins etc acha maine aapko bataya silica is found where it is found in the epidermal cells of grasses grasses jo hote hain agar aapne kabhi grasses pluck kiye ho to unke edges kafi sharp hote hain and sometimes you get a cut because of those sharp edges so why they are sharp because of the presence of silica in their epidermal cells cutein 
cutin is uh, present in the epidermal cells to uh, to uh, create a cuticle layer over the leaves uh, and because of the presence of the cuticle excessive transpiration is prevented from the leaves and there might be tannins resins which are the excretory substances by the cell okay now what is the cell wall it is the part of a extracellular matrix though it is dead but it is metabolically active and capable of growth plant mein jo cell wall hoti hai it is made up of cellulose which is forming the structural framework of the cell hemicellulose is acting as a filler substance whereas pectin bind the cellulosic microfibrils with the hemicellulose and glycoproteins are helping in the orientation of cellulosic microfibrils clear to all of you this much so this much you are supposed to remember now we'll be studying about the different types of the cell wall so now the structure of cell wall it is made up of following layers kitne layers se cell wall banti hai okay kitne layers se cell wall banti hai so cell wall is made up of following layers uh, see if i make a cell over here so this is okay this is one cell this is cell 1 and this is cell 2 so in between these two cell there is a common cell wall this cell wall is a common wall of cell 1 and cell 2 so a common cell wall or a cell wall which divides the two cell this common cell wall in between these two cell ise hum kya keh rahe hain this is the middle lamella okay so what is middle lamella it is a thin amorphous and cementing layer why we call it as cementing layer because it is binding these two cells so it is a thin amorphous and cementing layer which is present between now this is b by w wherever i have written it is for between between the two adjacent cells okay so whenever the plant cells are dividing the first cell wall which is deposited so whenever there is cell division whenever there is cytokinesis so the first layer which is deposited at the time of cytokinesis just like a common brick wall between the two adjacent rooms okay what it is it is the middle lamella so the first cell wall which is formed at the time of cell division is middle lamella it is absent on the other side of the uh, on the outer side of the surface cells so suppose this is a cell you have a cell here clear so this is a cell now in between these two cells you have a middle lamella main black se banati hu you have a middle lamella here clear in between this this cell and this cell you have a middle lamella here in between these two it is here in between these two it is here isse niche jo cells honge wo yahan pe now see because here there will be no new cell wall new cell formed because these are what these are the surface cells अब क्योंकि यहाँ पर आगे कोई सेल नहीं बनने वाला तो यहाँ पर एट दिस प्लेस बिकॉज देर इज नो नीड ऑफ बाइंडिंग दिस सेल टू एनी अदर सेल देर इज नो मिडिल लैमिला सो मिडिल लैमिला इज एबसेंट ऑन द आउटर सरफेस ऑफ द सरफेस सेल सो यू विल नॉट बी फाइंडिंग मिडिल लैमिला ऑन द आउटर साइड ऑफ द सरफेस सेल्स किससे बनी होती है मिडल लैमिला वट इज द कॉम्पोजिशन इट इज मेड अप ऑफ कैल्शियम एंड मैग्नीशियम पैक्टेट्स बट इफ यू गो थ्रू योर एन सी आर टी वहां पर क्या दिया हुआ है ओनली कैल्शियम पैक्टेट क्लियर टू यू याद आपको दोनों रखना है मिडल लैमिला इज मेड अप ऑफ कैल्शियम एंड मैग्नीशियम पैक्टेट बट इन एन सी आर टी ओनली कैल्शियम पैक्टेट इज गिविन टू यू clear so middle lamella it is made up of calcium and magnesium pectate now during the ripening of fruits now you have you might have seen ki fruits jab raw hote hain to they are hard okay but while they get ripened they become very very soft to jo soft fruits ho jate hain what happens in their pulp unke pulp ke andar jo middle lamella present hoti hai it gets solubilized to pectic compounds making the fruits soft so what you are supposed to remember about middle lamella it is the first cell wall formed at the time of cell division 
it is the cementing layer between the two adjacent cells it is absent on the outer side of the surface cells kisse bani hoti it is made up of calcium and magnesium pectate and during the ripening of fruits it solubilizes to form jelly like substances or pect uh, sorry uh, it uh, solubilizes to form jelly like substances making the fruits soft clear to all of you so this is what you are supposed to remember about middle lamella okay now as this is the middle lamella you have the middle lamella here these are again the two cell this is the same diagram i am drawing which i have drawn here okay so you have the middle lamella here now see if the cell is secreting something where it will be secreted just outside the cell so when the cell matures or dead content cell ke andar banega aur ye middle lamella kyunki ye to just cell division ke baad hi ban rahi hai to cell grow karega further or substances secrete karega to iske baad jo next cell wall banegi it will be like this this is the cell wall of this cell and this is the cell wall of this cell clear so the next cell wall which is laid on the middle lamella middle lamella ke upar jo next cell wall banti hai this cell wall is called as the primary cell wall the next cell wall which is laid is called as the primary cell wall so it is laid inside the middle lamella it is thin now this is important this is thin this is a thin cell wall and this cell wall is capable of expansion matlab iski thickness aur increase ho sakti hai theek hai ab expansion ke liye kya hota hai i told you that one minute i told you that सेल्यूलोसिक वॉल कैसे बनी होती है यू हैव द सेल्यूलोसिक माइक्रोफेब्रल अरेन्ज दिस वे ओके एंड यू हैव द हेमी सेल्यूलोस एंड पेक्टिन इन बिटवीन दिस ओके नाउ व्हाट हैपेंस एट द टाइम ऑफ सेल वॉल एक्सपेंशन देर इज अ प्रोटीन व्हिच इज सिंथेसाइज एंड दिस प्रोटीन इज कॉल्ड एज एक्सपेंसिन this protein is responsible for what is the main function of this protein this is responsible for wall loosening cell wall ko loose karne ka kaam karta hai aur wall loosening ki wajah se kya hoga jaise hi expansion yahan par aayega ye jo aapke cellulosic microfibrils the they will their the gap in between them will increase like this जब इनके बीच का गैप इंक्रीज हो जाएगा तो वॉट विल हैपन देर विल बी नो न्यू सेल्यूलोसिक फिब्रिल्स विच विल कम इन अलाइन यूर अच्छा अब न्यू सेल्यूलोसिक फिब्रिल्स किससे बनते हैं देर इज अ एंजाइम विच इज कॉल्ड एज सेल्यूलोस का सिंथेसिस किस किस किसकी हेल्प से होगा बाय द एंजाइम विच इज कॉल्ड एज सेल्यूलोस सिंथेज and this enzyme it is synthesized by the plasma membrane kaun synthesize karta hai enzyme plasma membrane so this enzyme will be forming new cellulose so what did i told you that the primary cell wall is capable of expansion so expansion is because of the protein expansion this expansion protein it is uh coming to the cell wall primary cell wall and it is increasing the gap in between the cellulosic fiber uh, fibrils where the new cellulosic fibrils can come and align themselves and new cellulosic fibrils will be synthesized by the enzyme which is secreted from the plasma membrane called as cellulose synthase there will be new hemicellulose in between it if i make it this way so there will be new hemicellulose and there will be more pectin which will be binding the Two and that is how the overall thickness of the cell wall can increase. Clear to you? Okay, चलिए. So what I was talking about? Primary cell wall it is thin and it is capable of expansion. 
expansin protein now this is the protein which is responsible expansin protein helps in what is the function loosening and expansion of cell wall it increases the gaps between the cellulosic microfibrils uh, where more microfibrils can come and deposit and more filler substances deposited increasing the thickness of the cell wall so expansin is responsible for wall loosening clear growth takes place by into susception now what does what does this word into susception means into susception ka matlab hota hai ki when new substances come and get deposited in between the existing ones ठीक है मतलब सपोज यहाँ पर हमारी जो सेल वॉल है ये ऑलरेडी लेड है अब इसके बीच बीच में और न्यू सब्सटेंस आकर डिपॉजिट हो गए तो हम क्या बोलेंगे इन टू सेप्शन और यू कैन से दो टाइप से सेल वॉल की ग्रोथ होती है वन इज इन टू सेप्शन एंड अदर वन इज एक्रीशन और डिपॉजिशन टू गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग अगर हम इन टू सेप्शन की बात करें into susception and the other one is deposition or accretion ठीक है तो into susception में growth कैसे होती है आपने paint करते हुए देखा होगा by the form of by the spray हम स्प्रे से पेंट करते हैं तो स्प्रे से जब हम पेंट करते हैं तो छोटे छोटे पार्टिकल फॉर्म में पेंट आता है एंड इट ग्रेजुअली फिल्स अप द होल स्पेस क्लियर सो सेल वॉल के जो पार्टिकल्स होते हैं जो सेल वॉल को बनाते हैं वेन दे कम इन द फॉर्म ऑफ फाइन पार्टिकल्स एंड दे डिपॉजिट द एग्जिस्ट दे कम इन डिपॉजिट इन बिटवीन द एग्जिस्टिंग स्पेस द टाइप ऑफ ग्रोथ ऑफ सेल वॉल इज कॉल्ड एज इन टू सेप्शन इन टू सेप्शन में क्या हो रहा है द वॉल मटीरियल इज कमिंग and depositing in form of particles whereas what is happening in case of deposition and accretion deposition and accretion mein jo wall materials hai aapne rollers ke form mein paint hote hue dekha hoga to when we paint in the form of rollers we give a whole line हम पूरे पूरे लाइंस पूरे पूरे लेयर्स के फॉर्म में पेंट करते हैं तो एक्रीशन और डिपॉजिशन के अंदर जो वॉल मटेरियल है इट गेट्स डिपॉजिटेड इन फॉर्म ऑफ लेयर्स तो अब आपको इन दोनों वर्ड्स को लेके बहुत कंफ्यूज नहीं होना है जस्ट रिमेंबर द सिंपल मीनिंग इनटू सेप्शन का मतलब पार्टिकल फॉर्म में जब चीजें आके डिपॉजिट हो रही हैं तो इट इज इनटू सेप्शन और अगर लेयर्स के फॉर्म में चीजें आके डिपॉजिट हो रही हैं तो उसे हम क्या कह रहे हैं एक्रेशन क्लियर सो इट डजेंट मीन के सिर्फ इंटू सेप्शन ही होगा या सिर्फ एक्रीशन भी होगा दोनों चीजें एक साथ भी हो सकती है दैट सम थिंग्स आर कमिंग इन द फॉर्म ऑफ लेयर्स एंड द स्पेस इन बिटवीन द लेयर्स इज फिल्ड बाई इंटू सेप्शन ओके सो प्राइमरी सेल वॉल में जो ग्रोथ हो रही है स्पेशली प्राइमरी सेल वॉल में जो ग्रोथ हो रही है इट इज बाय द प्रोसेस ऑफ इंटू सेप्शन वेयर द एडिशनल मटीरियल्स आर डिपॉजिटिंग इन विद इन द एग्जिस्टिंग वंस तो एडिशनल कहाँ पे आके डिपॉजिट हो रहे हैं इन बिटवीन द एग्जिस्टिंग वंस ओके नाउ सिंथेसिस ऑफ सेल्यूलोस टेक्स प्लेस बाय द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ एंजाइम एज आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू सेल्यूलोस कौन एंजाइम बनाता है सेल्यूलोसिक सेल्यूलोस सिंथेज और ये एंजाइम आपको कौन से कहाँ पे मिलता है इट इज प्रेजेंट इन द प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन सो सेल्यूलोस सिंथेज एंजाइम इज प्रेजेंट इन द प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन एंड दिस एंजाइम इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ सेल्यूलोस विच विल देन गो एंड इट विल डिपॉजिट द सेल वॉल इट विल इंक्रीज द सेल वॉल और इट विल फॉर्म अ न्यू सेल वॉल सो आई होप दिस मच इज क्लियर टू यू ओके क्या याद रखना है आपको प्राइमरी सेल वॉल के बारे में दैट प्राइमरी सेल वॉल इज थिन इट इज केपेबल ऑफ एक्सपेंशन बिकॉज ऑफ द प्रोटीन एक्सपेंसिन ओके एक्सपेंसिन लूजन्स द सेल वॉल एंड न्यू मटीरियल फॉर सेल वॉल फॉर्मेशन कम एंड डिपॉजिट इन बिटवीन द एग्जिस्टिंग वन बाय द प्रोसेस कॉल्ड एज इन टू सेप्शन द न्यू सेलोस विच इज कमिंग एंड डिपॉजिटिंग इट इज फॉर्म्ड बाय द एंजाइम सेल्यूलोस सिंथेज विच इज प्रेजेंट इन द प्लाज्मा 
membrane clear till here to all of you okay now see now fungal cellulose is similar to chitin as i have already told you jab humne starting mein fungus ke bare mein discuss kiya tha maine aapko bataya tha ki fungal cellulose is similar to chitin which is found in the exoskeleton of इंसेक्ट्स एक्सोस्केलेटर ऑफ इंसेक्ट्स भी काइटीन का बना होता है और फंगस की जो सेल वॉल होती है उसका जो काइटीन होता है विच इज मेकिंग द सेल वॉल ऑफ फंगस बोथ आर वॉट सिमिलर टू ईच अदर एंड वॉट इट इज मेड अप ऑफ इट इज अ पॉलीमर ऑफ इट इज मेड अप ऑफ इट इज अ पॉलीमर ऑफ बीटा वन फोर एसिटाइल ग्लूकोज अमाइन क्लियर टू यू सो दिस एज आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू रिमेंबर दिस थिंग ऑल्सो clear to all of you till here now talking about the secondary cell wall now what is secondary cell wall so as the diagram which we made previously we will be making the same diagram again so this is the middle lamella which we made then we made the primary cell wall of this cell the primary cell wall of the other cell now on this primary cell wall we have a thick wall la laid theek okay, hai now this thick wall is not found in all the cells the cells which are very very mature in those cell a thick wall is laid on the primary cell wall and it is very thick so this is a wall which is laid on the primary wall and this thick cell wall this thick cell wall it is called as the kya bolenge hum isko secondary cell wall what it is called as it is called as the secondary cell wall now secondary cell wall kahan pe milegi aapko it is found only in the mature plant cell now this thing i hope you people have understood jitna zyada organism mature hota jata hai uska dead content utna बढ़ता जाता है मतलब उसके अंदर डेड कंटेंट आपको ज्यादा देखने को मिलेगा वाई बिकॉज उसके अंदर सेक्रीशन ज्यादा होंगे ठीक है जैसे वट आर वट इज अ डेड कंटेंट ऑफ आर बॉडी आर हेयर्स आर द डेड कंटेंट ऑफ आर बॉडी कभी भी एक छोटा बेबी बहुत लॉन्ग हेयर्स के साथ बॉर्न नहीं होता है जैसे जैसे ऑर्गेनिज्म की ग्रोथ होती जाती है उसके हेयर्स भी इंक्रीज होते जाते हैं सो इन द सेम वे डेड कंटेंट कब बनता है जब सेल का मेटाबॉलिज्म होता है और वो कुछ सब्सटेंसेस प्रोड्यूस करता है तो वो डेड सब्सटेंसेस भी प्रोड्यूस करता है तो इन द सेम वे ऐसे प्लांट्स सेल्स जो ज्यादा मेच्योर होंगे उनके अंदर डेड कंटेंट भी ज्यादा होगा तो सेकेंडरी सेल वॉल आपको कौन से प्लांट सेल्स के अंदर देखने को मिल रही है इट इज प्रेजेंट इन द मेच्योर प्लांट सेल्स वेन दे हैव स्टॉप्ड ग्रोथ ठीक है तो उनकी ग्रोथ स्टॉप्ड हो गई है और उनके अंदर आपको डेड कंटेंट देखने को मिल रहा है लाइक विच प्लांट सेल्स इन ट्रेकिड्स वेसल्स दीज आर द सेल्स ऑफ वॉट दीज आर द सेल्स ऑफ जाइलम ओके नाउ वेयर इज द सेकेंडरी सेल वॉल प्रोड्यूस इट इज लेड इनर टू द प्राइमरी सेल वॉल प्राइमरी सेल वॉल के अंदर बनते हैं इट इज लेड इनर टू द प्राइमरी सेल वॉल बाय एक्रीशन और deposition so i told you these two processes when the substances required for wall formation are coming and getting deposited in the form of layers the process is called as what it is called as accretion or deposition so it is laid inner to the primary cell wall by the process of accretion or deposition of materials over the surface of the existing structures now I, as i told you that the secondary cell wall is very very thick so why it is very very thick because it is at least made up of three layers to so, ye minimum three layers ki bani hoti hai aur kaun kaun si layers hoti hai s1 s2 and s3 aur kabhi kabhi sometimes it is made up of more than three also example kahan dekhne ko milta hai aisa latex tube of euphorbia mili yahan par jo cell wall hoti hai secondary cell wall it is of more than three layers clear to clear to all of you so what is special about the secondary cell wall that it is present in a mature plant cells when they have stopped growth example trachees and vessels it is laid inner to the primary cell wall by the process of accretion or deposition over the surface of the existing structures it is made up of at least three layers s1 s2 and s3 okay 
uh, and it can be even more like present in case of latex tube of euphorbia milli. Now, what happens sometimes inner to the secondary cell wall, matlab is secondary cell wall ke bhi andar, thik hai? sometimes inner to the secondary cell wall, aapko kya dekhne ko milta hai? Ek alag sa structure, ek aur cell wall dekhne ko milti hai, which stains differently. Suppose here, there is another cell wall or another structure which stains differently. Now, why this stains differently? This stains differently because kabhi kabhi pe yahan, kabhi kabhi yahan par kya hota hai? Secondary cell wall ke hi kuch part pe, there is a deposition of xylan. Okay, xylan is a chemical compound. Yahan par deposition of xylan ho jata hai. Aur jab ye xylan ko hum stain karte hai. Thik hai? So, when we, whenever we have to view a cell, we need to stain it. Why do we need to stain it? Because cell is transparent in nature. Agar hum cell ko dekhenge, toh hume, matlab, if we will not stain it and we will directly view it, we will not be able to see anything. So, whenever we are staining a cell, hum ko alag alag structure, unki density ke difference ki wajah se alag alag color ka dekhne ko milta hai. So, while staining the cell wall, aapko kabhi kabhi, not always, ha, sometimes inside the secondary cell wall, additional staining properties dekhne ko milti hai. Aur wo additional staining properties kis ki wajah se hoti hai? It is because of the presence of xylan. So, sometimes inner layer of the secondary cell wall is distinct both chemically as well as in staining due to the presence of xylan or jab aisa hota hai, to what do we call it as? We call it as the tertiary cell wall. Clear to all of you till here? So, secondary cell wall ke baare mein yaad rakhna hai that it is present in a mature plant cells which has stopped growth. It is laid inner to the primary cell wall by the process of accretion and deposition. It is made up of at least three layers S1, S2 and S3 okay, and it can be even more in latex tube of euphorbia milli. Sometimes you know to the secondary cell wall you find additionally uh, staining and chemically different structure because of the presence of xylan which is called as the tertiary cell wall. Clear to all of you till here? Okay. Now, next talking about the functions of cell wall. What is the function of cell wall? Because it is the outermost dead part, it is protecting the cell from mechanical injury. Cell ko kisi bhi type ki mechanical injury se protect kar rahe. Thik hai? It is because it is the dead part, it is even protecting the cell from attack of pathogens. Pathogens will not get any food here. So, it is, attacked, it is protecting the cells from the attack of pathogens. Okay, because it is the dead part of the cell, it is even providing rigidity and shape to the cell. Okay. It counteracts the osmotic pressure. What do you mean by it counteracts the osmotic pressure? It counteracts the osmotic pressure, matlab, agar ye cell wall hai, or plant cell ke andar jo protoplasm hai, wo grow karna start karta hai, usne grow kara, and it further tries to expand. So, cell wall being a dead, dead and rigid structure will not allow this protoplasm to further expand. Wo usko further grow karne nahi dega. This cell wall will exert a pressure which we have previously also talked about, wall pressure. And this wall pressure will balance the pressure which is secreted by the osmosis which is taking place inside. Agar humne is plant cell ko kisi hypotonic solution mein rakha, to water kaha jayega from outside to inside. And when the water will go from outside to inside, the cell will start swelling. And when the cell will start swelling, it will create a osmotic pressure. Okay. Because of this osmotic pressure, the cell will start expanding, the protoplasm will start expanding. But because of the presence of cell wall in case of plant cells, there is the cell wall is a rigid structure. It will not allow the protoplasm to expand beyond its limit. And it will stop what? endo-osmosis. So, it is counteracting the osmotic pressure also. Clear? Walls prevents the bursting of plant cells by inhibiting the excess of endo-osmosis, the same thing which we have talked about and cutin and suberin prevent, prevents the cell from excessive transpiration. Why? Because this cutin and suberin, they are watertight and airtight. Clear? So, it is preventing the plant cell from excessive water loss and transpiration. Clear to all of you till here? Okay. 
So, this was about the cell wall. We had studied about the plant cell wall, we studied about the different types of cell wall and we studied the layers in which the cell wall is laid, middle lamella, primary cell wall. Inside the primary cell wall, we have the secondary cell wall and sometimes because of the staining differences, we can even see the tertiary cell wall. Clear to clear to all of you? Okay. Now, we will be studying about certain structures which are related to the cell wall. Okay, so, the first one which we are studying is the plasmodesmata. Now, what is plasmodesmata? Plasmodesmata is a structure present in between the two adjacent cells and this structure was discovered. Sabse pehle kisne discover kiya tha? Tangle ne. The scientist named as Tangle and then it was studied by Strasburger. Okay, Strasburger jo hai, inhone terms aapko diye the, uh, cytoplasm and nucleoplasm, these terms were given by Strasburger. So, plasmodesmata was first of all discovered by Tangle and then it was studied by Strasburger. Now, what is a plasmodesmata? I have made a diagram. Hai. This diagram is of plasmodesmata. Now, see this is cell 1 and this is cell 2. Now, what you can see that in between these two cells, what is this? This is the, we marked kiya hai. this part is the cell wall. Okay, jo blue color se aapko mark dikh hai. this is the cell wall. Now, at places in between these two cells, this red color is the plasma membrane. So, this plasma membrane of this cell is fusing with the plasma membrane of the other cell. Clear? So, you can see in between these plasma membranes are getting fused. Okay. Now, when the plasma membrane of the two adjacent cells is getting fused, see, here and here, this is fused and this is also fused. So, there is a cavity in between these two cells, because in plasma membrane kya ho rahi hai? Fuse. Theek hai? So, ye jo cavity ban rahi hai yahan pe, is cavity ko hum kya keh rahe Plasmodesma. Clear? Ab kya hota hai? Ye jo pore banta hai because of the connectivity of the plasma membrane of the adjacent cell ye cytoplasm ki continuity ho rahi hai yahan pe theek hai aur ye jo cytoplasmic continuity hoti hai i have marked it or not no this cytoplasmic continuity is cytoplasmic continuity ko hum kehte hain symplast kya bolte hain isko symplast अब ये जो सिम्प्लास्टिक कनेक्शन है मैंने आपको बताया जहां पे एक सेल का प्रोटोप्लाज्म दूसरे सेल के प्रोटोप्लाज्म से कनेक्ट हो रहा है इस, इस कनेक्टिविटी को हम क्या कह रहे हैं सिम्प्लास्ट तो ये जो कनेक्टिविटी हो रही है बिटवीन दीस टू एडजेसेंट सेल्स इस कनेक्टिविटी से क्या हो रहा है द एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम ऑफ वन सेल इज पासिंग थ्रू द नेक्स्ट सेल सो इधर का जो ईआर है इट इज पासिंग टू द अनदर सेल दिस ग्रीन कलर से आई हैव मेड द ईआर सो एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम फ्रॉम वन सेल इज पासिंग टू द नेक्स्ट सेल और यहां पर जो एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम प्लाज्मोडेस्मेटा से पास हो रहा है उसके लिए व्हिच वर्ड वी आर यूजिंग वी आर यूजिंग द टर्म डेस्मोटिब्यूल ओके सो प्लाज्मोडेस्मेटा इज लाइंड बाय द प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन देयर इज अ लिविंग कंटिन्यूटी ऑफ साइटोप्लाज्म कॉल्ड एज सिम्प्लास्ट and through the symplast you can see a desmotibule passing through the plasmodesma connection. Okay? Now what happens at certain places this ER, this is the ER. Okay? This ER is coming from the cell and it is getting branched and then it is passing to the next cell. So, this endoplasmic reticulum can even be branched and when it is branched, what do we use for desmotibule? Branched desmotibule. So, this plasmodesmic continuity, this desmotibule, okay, and the uh, linings, that is the plasma membrane, all of them together constitute what? They constitute a plasmodesma connection, like means this lining of plasma membrane, this continuity of cytoplasm through which ER is passing, hum is sab ko mila kar kya bol rahe? plasmodesma connection. Okay. So, there are the cytoplasmic bridges between the adjacent plant cells which develop on minute pore on their walls. So, here they are pores on wall pe. So, minute pores on their walls. The protoplasmic continuity is called as, we are protoplasm ki jo continuity hai. Usko kya keh rahe? Symplast. 
The plasmodes met are lined by plasma membrane through which the endoplasmic reticulum passes from one cell to another. The ER passing through the plasmodesma is called as क्या कह रहे हम ER passing through plasmodesma टा it is called as a desmotibule. The desmotibule can be simple or it can even be branched. Clear to all of you. Now what can happen through these plasmodesmata? Through these plasmodesmata, small sized particle can pass between the adjacent cells. So you can have small sized particles passing between the adjacent cells as well as transfer of some specific signals also takes place between the adjacent cells. So plasmodesmata is a space in between the two adjacent cells or you can say minute pores lined by the plasma membrane and having an endoplasmic reticulum passing through it and what can uh, pass through these plasmodesma small size particles and specific signals between the adjacent cells. So I hope it is clear to all of you what is plasmodesma, clear, okay, Chale, so let us move further. Now we have apart from these plasmodesma we have another types of connections between the two adjacent cells. So these are called as pits, kya kehte hum inko pits. Now what are pits, Aap pits term kis ke liye use karte ho, English mein what do you mean by pits, pits means khadda, okay. So what is happening, this is a cell, this is cell 1 and this is cell 2. So in between these two cells you have a middle lamella, I have marked the middle lamella in the center. Okay, apart from middle lamella you have the primary cell wall of this cell here and the primary cell wall of the other cell on the other side, <coughs> excuse me. On the primary cell wall you have these thick walls laid which are called as secondary cell walls, clear? You have the middle lamella in the center, primary cell wall on both the side and on the primary cell wall you have the secondary cell walls laid on both the side. Now see there are places where the secondary cell wall is not laid on the adjacent sides on the cells, clear? Means you do not have a secondary cell wall here, you do not have a secondary cell wall here. So the places where you do not have the secondary cell wall on both the side of the adjacent cells, those areas are called as what? These areas are called as pits. So pits are the places where the secondary cell walls are absent on adjacent cells, the areas are called as kya hum inko? pits. ठीक है अब ये जो खड्डे हैं ये जो पिट्स हैं इनके बीच में मेम्ब्रेन है ठीक है मेम्ब्रेन किससे बनी है प्राइमरी सेल वॉल एंड मिडिल लैमिला एंड अगेन द प्राइमरी सेल वॉल सो मिडिल लैमिला एंड द प्राइमरी सेल वॉल आर ऑल टुगेदर फॉर्मिंग व्हाट दे आर फॉर्मिंग अ पिट मेम्ब्रेन नाउ पिट मेम्ब्रेन इट इज परमीएबल परमीएबल मींस सब्सटेंसेस कैन पास थ्रू इट बट कौन से सब्सटेंसेस माइन्यूट सब माइक्रोस्कोपिक माइन्यूट सब माइक्रोस्कोपिक पोर्स इनके अंदर प्रेजेंट हैं और कौन से सब्सटेंसेस पास हो सकते हैं विच आर स्मॉलर देन दीज पोर्स एंड दिस हेल्प्स इन द ट्रांसलोकेशन ऑफ सब्सटेंसेस बिटवीन द एडजेंट सेल्स तो इन सिंपल लैंग्वेज व्हाट आर पिट्स पिट्स आर द एरियाज इन द सेल वॉल वे द सेकेंडरी सेल वॉल इज नॉट लेड ऑन बोथ द साइड ऑन द एडजेंट सेल्स Okay, and because the primary cell wall and the middle lamella are permeable and they have minute sub microscopic pores, so the substances can pass from one, cell, one side to the other side of the cell. And constant substances pass ho sakte hai, which are smaller in size uh, than the sub microscopic pores. Clear to all of you? Now, these are simple pits. Ye jo pits abhi humne dekhe, simple pits hai. In hum simple pits kyun keh rahe? Kyunki agar aap yaha par jo pit cavity hai, this is the pit, ye pit ki puri cavity hai. Agar is pit cavity ka diameter aap dekho ge, to this diameter is uniform throughout the length of the pit. Aapko same diameter dekhne ko mil raha hai. So, the pit cavity is uniform throughout the length of the pit. Isli hum in pits ko kya keh rahe? Simple pits. अब हम दूसरे टाइप के पिट्स देखते हैं दीज आर बॉर्डर्ड पिट्स नाउ इन बॉर्डर्ड पिट्स द सेम डायग्राम विच वी हैव ड्रॉन प्रीवियसली वही हमने बनाया है वट इज द डिफरेंस यू कैन सी योर दैट द सेकेंडरी सेल वॉल इज पार्शियली ओवर हैंगिंग आपको दिख रहा है ये पार्शियली ओवर हैंग कर रही है ठीक है अब क्योंकि ये पार्शियली ओवर हैंग कर रही है तो ये पार्शियली ओवर हैंग क्यों करती है क्योंकि ये जो आपको ओवर हैंगड वाला पार्ट दिख रहा है ना यहाँ पर एडिशनली क्या आके डिपॉजिट हो जाता है 
यहाँ पर एडिशनली आके डिपॉजिट हो जाता है सुबेरीन तो सेकेंडरी सेल वॉल पार्शली ओवरहैंग करती है और पार्शली ओवरहैंग अगर करती है तो अगर आप डायमीटर देखोगे पिट कैविटी का तो दिस डायमीटर विल नॉट बी यूनिफॉर्म इट इज नॉट यूनिफॉर्म ठीक है इट इज लेस ऑन द साइज एंड देन मोर इन द सेंटर क्लियर ये जो सुबेरीन यहाँ पे वॉल्स पे डिपॉजिट है कभी कभी ये सुबेरीन सेंटर में भी डिपॉजिट हो जाता है ऑन द मिडल लैमिला और ये जो सेंटर में डिपोजिशन हो जाता है इसका उसे हम कहते हैं टोरस ठीक है एंड व्हाट डज दिस टोरस डू इट इज एक्टिंग एज अ वेल्व एंड रेगुलेट द फ्लो ऑफ सब्सटेंसेस क्लियर सो व्हाट आर बॉर्डर्ड पिट्स द एरियाज वेयर द सेकेंडरी सेल वॉल पार्शली ओवर हैंग्स द पिट कैविटी पिट कैविटी इज द स्पेस इन बिटवीन where the secondary cell wall is not laid here the diameter of the pits are not uniform throughout the length of the pit cavity deposition of suberin takes place on the pit membrane theek hai to pit membrane humne center mein banaya hai yahan pe additionally suberin ka deposition ho jata hai which is called as torus and it is acting as a valve regulating the flow of substances clear to all of you so this is all about the cell wall which we are supposed to remember in our ठीक है सो वी विल रिवाइज फ्रॉम द बिगनिंग क्या क्या पढ़ा हमने सेल वॉल में हमने सबसे पहले पढ़ा है दैट द सेल वॉल इज अ डेड पार्ट ऑफ द सेल इट इज द पार्ट ऑफ द एक्स्ट्रा सेलुलर मेट्रिक्स ओके एंड किससे बना होता है सेल वॉल इन यू विल बी एबल टू फाइंड सेल वॉल इन प्लांट सेल्स फंजाई एंड एल्गा इन फंजाय द सेल वॉल इज मेड अप ऑफ काइटीन वेर एस इन केस ऑफ प्लांट सेल्स Whereas in case of plant cells, the cell wall will be made up of cellulose, hemicellulose, uh, pectin, uh, then uh, glycoproteins, lignin, suberin, and certain other substances like silica, cutein, resins, tannins, and gums. In case of alga, the cell wall will be made up of cellulose, galactans, mannans, and minerals like calcium carbonate. clear to you cell wall is dead but it is metabolically active and it is capable of expansion okay talking about the structure of the plant cell wall plant cell wall is made up of cellulose where the cellulose is acting as the structural framework and it is present in the form of its microfibrils in between the cellulosic microfibrils you have the filler substance which is called as hemicellulose and cellulosic microfibrils and hemicellulose are bind with each other by the help of the filler subs by the help of pectin which is acting as a substance to bind these two and glycoproteins help in deciding the orientation of the cellulosic microfibrils theek hai iske baad humne padha different layers of cell wall we studied about the structure of cell wall we studied middle lamella which is the first cementing layer formed between the adjacent cells at the time of cytokinesis it is mainly made up of calcium and magnesium pectate in your ncert calcium is given to you okay it is absent on the surface uh, layer of the cells clear and in ripening of fruits it solubilizes into jelly like substance then the primary cell wall is laid inner to the middle lamella okay and this primary cell wall is capable of expansion uh, while talking about expansion i told you it is because of a protein expansin which is acting as a loosening substance and and it increases the gaps between the cellulosic microfibrils okay and it widens the gap and when it widens the gap new cellulosic microfibrils come and deposit and the space between the cellulosic microfibrils is a uh, further more uh, hemicell uh, the space i'm sorry new cellulosic microfibrils come and deposit and the space between them is filled by more hemicellulose and pectin binds the two and that that is how the cell wall increases in its thickness okay a uh, new cellulose is synthesized by the sub, by the enzyme called as cellulose synthase which is synthesized by the plasma membrane okay Uh, talking about the secondary cell wall it is present in a mature plant cells uh, and uh, you can see it in tracheids and vessels theek hai this cell wall is laid by the accretion and deposition processes 
uh, it is generally uh, deposited in the form of three layers like S1, S2 and S3 and it can be even more. You have example of where can you see it? Analytics tube of euphorbia. Mili. Okay. Sometimes additional deposition of xylem gives different staining properties to the inner layer of secondary cell wall. Jise hum kya kehte hai? Tertiary cell wall. Clear? Secondary cell wall, uh, talking about the functions of the cell wall, it protects the cell from mechanical injury, protects the cell from attack of pathogens, provides rigidity and shape to the cell, counteracts the osmotic pressure, prevents the plant cells from bursting by inhibiting endosmosis, cutin and suberin prevents the cell from excessive transpiration. Then we spoke about two different types of structures uh, which are present in between the two cell walls. First of all, uh, I taught you about plasmodesmata uh, which are the protoplasmic continuity between the two adjacent cells. Okay, uh, you can see the plasma membrane of the two cells fusing. Uh, this continuity of prot uh, which, crea which creates the continuity of protoplasm between the two adjacent cells which is called as the sim. Plast. Through the symplast, you can see endoplasmic reticulum of one cell is passing to the another. This endoplasmic reticulum is called as desmotibule. It can be a simple endoplasmic reticulum and it can even be a branched endoplasmic reticulum called as a branched desmotibule. Clear? Uh, this lining of uh, plasma membrane along with the cytoplasmic continuity and the endoplasmic reticulum passing through it all together is called as a plasmodesmata. What happens through the plasmodesmata? Small size particles pass between the adjacent cells and even some specific signals also get transmitted. Okay. The other thing which we studied was the pits. Pits are the areas on the adjacent cells where the secondary cell wall is not laid. Okay. These areas can be even uniform in the diameter throughout the length which are called as simple pits and there can be even partially overhangings uh, in the pits by the deposition of suberin okay. uh, where the diameter does not remain the same. Uh, the places where suberin is deposited ad additionally on the secondary cell wall, you can even see deposition of suberin on the middle lamella which is called as torus and such type of pits are called as bordered pits. What is a pit membrane? The middle lamella and the primary cell wall together constitute a middle, um, sorry the middle lamella and the primary cell wall together constitute the pit membrane which has sub microscopic pores and help in translocation between two adjacent cells. So, this was all for today's lecture students. I hope the topic cell wall is clear to all of you. Okay, in case of any doubts and queries, we will be having uh, certain sort of discussion soon. Okay, uh, you, if you have any doubt, you can write down in comment section or you can contact Vishal sir. I hope you had uh, enjoyed today's lecture. Okay, uh, we will be soon with our another lecture. Thank you very much.